We are gathered here on this wonderful day to join in marriage to Sandra and Charles. The steps you are about to take are the most important human beings can come. It's a union of two people founded upon mutual respect and affection. Your lives will change. Your responsibilities will increase. But your joy will be multiplied if you're sincere and earnest with your pledge to one another. One of the most important things to make your marriage work is communication. Talking is the key, but the key is to be the outstanding listener. Charles, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all of so long as you both shall live? I do. Miss Andrew, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, so long as you both shall live? I do. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget and respect one another. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, and the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner for each other, which both of you know you are. Me and Charles, we've been best friends forever, since preschool. Since we were kicking kids off tricycles, beating their asses, stealing everyone's food at lunch all the time. Oh, this is crazy. It, it, you two together has been a long time coming, and I couldn't be happier. Chuck has always had my back, from two bricks to the bay window. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shelly, Rob, you still don't know the full story. You never will. <laughs> but I can always count on Charles. I can call him any time during the day and he'll answer. Except when he's streaming. <laughs> and Cassie, we've grown up since we were babies. We're family. Yes, and we're family, brothers and sisters. So it is a little weird that my best friend, brother, and sister are getting married. But nowadays, everyone can get married to whoever, and it's perfect. I love both you guys, and I love every single one here. And drink up. I love you guys.
I'm so humbled and thankful to be here today to celebrate one of the biggest days of Chuck and Cassie's life. I actually met Cassie when we were both on the Redskins Ambassadors team, and it's so funny how friendship works out because basically since the second we met, we just clicked, and she was someone that I knew would be a lifelong friend. We would always joke and say whenever we would get married, we would be in each other's wedding, and here we are four years later. We were each other's person that we would call whenever we had any funny stories, just to talk, or issues, including boy issues. We would call each other and just complain about guys and joke that we would be there in a heartbeat, <laughs> stuffing our face with a bowl of fruit because we couldn't do cake since we were on Redskins. <laughs> and then when her and Chuck reconnected, all of the complaining and horror stories about guys stopped. The first time I met Chuck was when we were celebrating Cass's 21st birthday. And although I don't remember much about that night, because, well, <laughs> You can never let your friend take a tequila shot alone. <laughs> um, I remember calling Cassie the next day and just telling her that I knew he was different just based off of how he looked at her and the fact that he didn't judge us when we were literally stuffing our face with chicken fries from Burger King. <laughs> I probably had like a hundred and had some today too. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, Chuck treats Cassie like gold and is always on her side and supports and motivates her. He really is her biggest cheerleader as she is his. I honestly believe that they are the perfect balance for one another. For example, when they go to just look at puppies, <laughs> Chuck always tries to say no more, and now here they are with a little family of their own already. I am so excited to see what their future holds and how many more golden retrievers they will get in their lifetime together. I wish you both nothing but a lifetime of adventure, love, and happiness. So. as you are. I take you as you are. Loving who you are now. Loving who you are now. And who you are yet to become. And who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you. I promise to listen to you. And learn from you. And learn from you. To support you. To support you. And accept your support. And accept your support. I will share in your hopes and dreams. I will share in your hopes and dreams. I will love you. I will love you. And have faith in your love for me. And have faith in your love for me. Let us be partners. Let us be partners, friends and lovers, friends and lovers, today, today, and all the days to follow, and all the days to follow. I take you as you are, I take you as you are, loving who you are now, loving who you are now, and who you are yet to become, and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you, I promise to listen to you, and learn from you, and learn from you, to support you, to support you, and accept your support, and accept your support. I will share in your hopes and dreams. I will share in your hopes and dreams. I will love you. I will love you. And have faith in your love for me. And have faith in your love for me. Let us be partners. Let us be partners. Friends and lovers. Friends and lovers. Today. Today. And all the days to follow. And all the days to follow. Love works in ways that are wondrous and strange. And there is nothing that life, that love, can't change. Love is the answer that everyone seeks. Love is the language that everyone speaks. Love can't be bought, it's priceless and free. And love is like pure magic, it's life's sweetest mystery. Rings are the external and visible sign of your internal spiritual bond of love, which unites both your hearts. May they serve as a seal of your vows to one another from this day forward. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token of my love and devotion. In token of my love and devotion. And with my heart. And with my heart. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. All that I am. All that I am. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. 
This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token of my love and devotion. In token of my love and devotion. And with my heart. And with my heart. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. All that I am. All that I am. If you let love, roses, and your faith form a foundation in your marriage, it will be a good and long and happy union. And Cassandra and Charles, may love be in every step you take, in every word you speak, and every choice you make in life. And by the power vested in me, by the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Charles, you may kiss your bride. Cassie, welcome to the family. You're a beautiful addition. Charles, you did well. I'm just delighted and honored I can be here tonight. And I observed you taking your vows and it reminded me some 63 years ago, I traveled to a little town, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And I dare say I made better time from New York to Hopkinsville, Kentucky than we did today coming up on the Garden State Parkway. But I heard you during the course of the ceremony repeat a number of times that bond of love. That little girl I married so many years ago, we spent 58 years together. And I will tell you this, you have your high times, and you're going to have some low times. But you mentioned that bond of love today in your ceremony, and I would pray that that bond of love would play a very important part in the years ahead, especially during the tough times. And we had some real tough times, as you well know, but she loved me, and I loved her, and we loved our family, and God has blessed us all our lives. It's been five years since she left me, but I still miss her. And now I'd like to just ask all of us to just bow our heads and uh, if we could. And Father God, we come into your presence this night and what a joyous occasion it is to be in attendance at my grandson and his new bride. And my prayer for them tonight is that bond of love that they spoke about during the ceremony will ever be a part of their lives. And now as we prepare to take care and partake of your food, I would ask that this food would be a blessing to all our bodies. And these bodies would manifest themselves in love, not only towards our family, but toward one another. And all these things we ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>